Today in the news, Nvidia unlocks a dormant processor, Intel goes into Bitcoin and more. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Before that, let me take a second to thank today's video sponsor, WhoKeys. WhoKeys is where you can buy keys like this one for Windows 10 Pro. Get yourself a license with that link down in the description and click buy now and enter the code BTS25 for 25% off. And then you just submit your order. And once you're through with your payment and you receive your key, go to your computer, click on the Windows button, type in activate and update or change your product key. It's that simple. Let's get started with Nvidia. So before the RTX 3000 series was released, there was a bunch of rumors about some pretty quirky things, notably the Traversal coprocessor. YouTuber Cortex had a video on the subject back in June of 2020. He thought that this uh, coprocessor would do BVH calculations to accelerate ray tracing tasks, alleviating the uh, actual GPU core. Now, with the release of the 3000 series, we obviously did not see this coprocessor come to life. But it seems like Nvidia did have something kind of like that planned. I present to you the command processor. And in fact, this coprocessor, it's not really a coprocessor since it is on the die itself, but anyways, that thing has been laying dormant on RTX 2000 and RTX 3000 series GPUs, or should I say on Turing and Ampere dies. And it's activated through a driver update. Nvidia calls it the command processor, and it's this tiny little thing right here, that little portion of the die. What it does is essentially move some tasks that are usually done by the CPU and offload them to the GPU, freeing some resources. They are low level tasks though. It would take care of command validation like pointer verification and balance checking. Now, this command processor will only be unlocked for enterprise grade GPUs like the Tesla T4 based on Turing, or some of the uh, A series like the A100. But that doesn't mean that we won't get it as a consumer. In fact, the company announced that it would be a part of Max-Q laptop GPUs in 2022. Like I said earlier though, this is in the silicon, which means that Nvidia can unlock it on current GPUs and older ones for a fact. Right now, Nvidia says that this command processor's functionality is limited, but that they are working on expanding what it can do. I mean, the more tasks that Nvidia can offload to that part of the silicon, the one that was dormant, the better. And I'm pretty excited to see how far they'll push this tiny piece of silicon. Then we have Intel in the news, and it looks like the company is moving into the crypto world, but not by investing, but rather by working on mining hardware. For the ISSCC conference, which is supposed to happen between February 20th and the 28th, the blue team has a time slot with the title of Bonanza Mine, an ultra low voltage energy efficient Bitcoin mining ASIC. This was foreshadowed during the interview between Raja Kaduri and Dr. Lupo, where Raja said, I think blockchain is a transaction thing that is run much more efficiently than the current kind of, you know, the burning of hardware cycles is something that we are working on. He did make it clear that they wouldn't be using GPUs, adding, That's not a GPU thing, so don't kind of confuse it as it's a GPU thing. No, 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 GPUs will do graphics, gaming, and all those wonderful things. But being able to do much more efficient, you know, blockchain validation, you know, at much lower cost, much lower power and all is a pretty solvable problem. The only question I have about this is where will it be manufactured? You see, if they make these ASIC miners in-house, then it's potentially fine for the GPU market. Intel will be capable of manufacturing those alongside their other products. But if they move that manufacturing to TSMC, well, it means that whatever allocation Intel had for regular GPUs just got sliced. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Then we have Samsung in the news. They finally unveiled their new Exynos chip with integrated AMD RDNA 2 graphics, the Exynos 2200. Now, as is, the uh, GPU part of the ARM chip is called the Xclips, or I guess Eclipse, and Samsung claims that it will usher mobile gaming into a new era. Thanks to the RDNA 2, well, DNA inside, we'll be able to have things like ray tracing and variable rate shading. I think ray tracing is more of a gimmick here, 
here when uh, we consider the amount of horsepower you need for a good ray tracing experience, but variable ray shading, now that will definitely help gaming performance on a phone. The screen is so small you'll barely be able to see it and it would improve the frame rate, so that's great. There are other pretty bold claims like up to 8K encoding and video editing of 8K footage, but in terms of gaming, we've got nothing. No performance comparisons to the uh, old Exynos 2100 or anything like that. I mean, we did hear from Ice Universe that they had trouble managing clock speeds on this thing, so maybe that's a part of the problem. Anyways, be ready for smartphone content to take a new turn. Oh, and by the way, small rant here. So uh, if I understand correctly, this phone gets 8K encoding in H.265, and uh, the desktop class 6500 XT doesn't have any kind of encoding at all? Seriously, AMD? What the f And then let's do our free game check. Right now on the Epic Game Store, you can get Galactic Civilizations 3, a Civ style game that apparently is really good. It has an 81 score on Metacritic and 86 on PC Gamer. I've never really been looking for a Civ style game, but it's free, so I'm gonna give it a shot. It goes away on Thursday morning though, so get it while it's hot. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.